This is a brief video that looks at the use of the um, query function um, in analysing data in Google Spreadsheets, but I'm going to put it into the context of um, a wider project that we've got. Um, a while back I did a blog post about my homework site, or our homework site, which is homework.weeklypark.org, and you're more than welcome to uh, have a look at it. And this allows teachers, parents, students to see what homework has been set to what group very easily, particularly from the point of view of parents, they can just look at which class you're in, or what teach, what what has a particular teacher set you for homework, and um, it sort of gets around that issue that if somebody writes something in a homework diary, it may not, or may not be exactly what the teacher wanted them to do. So I'm just going to filter this by teacher. This uses the awesome um, table plugin for um, Google Sites and um, you can filter it however you want. If you want to see more about how the homework site works and what goes on in the background, have a look at um, that blog post. But uh, I set some homework to my Year 12 chemists um, today, so I've filtered it by me. This all goes into a spreadsheet. Um, when you've got all your homework data in a spreadsheet, you can then, of course, analyze it. So I'm going to move over to a spreadsheet that I've got called Homework Analysis and this does a number of things and this is work in progress but as I say it illustrates how you can use some formulas to take a load of data and make perhaps some sense of it and I'm in the process of doing this at the moment so I click onto this tab called Homework this tab here isn't the this isn't the spreadsheet that the homework form feeds into but it's using the import range function to pull that live data from the homework sites spreadsheet into this analysis sheet so it's got the import range this is the key here um, let's just zoom in and you can see that function a little bit more clearly so if you're not using import range it's a really cool way of making sheets dynamically linked together so this is the um, spreadsheet key here and then you've got date order so that's the um, sheet within the spreadsheet and this is the range I've just initially looked at okay so that pulls off the homework so these ones here these RE ones are the most recently set and they were set today which is the 11th um, so the first thing that um, I wanted to be able to do is find out which faculty had set a certain number of homework. So this is one of the things I was asked to do. So if I click on this tab called Faculty Data, um, what we've done is put a little drop down thing here. So this is conditional formatting. So there's a list of faculty codes over here. So I've defined that as a range and given it a name subjects I think and I've just got a drop down and I can select subjects so if I select chemistry which is my subject CH now bear in mind the year 12s and year 13s have been on study leave and the year 13s have now left there won't be many um, but if I click on chemistry what you'll see is for year 12 and 13 you can see that two homeworks have been set now how does that work um, that uses the query function. So if I click into this cell here, now I'm no expert on the query function, but it didn't take me long to sort of figure out what was going on. The query function, um, if I zoom in on this particular function here, there we go, this references this particular sheet here. So homework, exclamation mark, that means I'm going to look in that particular sheet. And I'm going to look in um, column E. That's all I'm going to look in for this particular purpose. I'm looking in range E1 to E10,000. Could be however many I wanted. So that's the range I'm going to look for data in. Now I've got quotes, and within these double quotes, what you do is put a, um, an argument. So you've got to say what data do I want to look for, and how do I sort of want to structure that data. So I'm going to select, so I'm going to select some data, and I'm going to use this function here called count, it's simply just like the, the standard function count, counts 
things in column E. So that's what that means. So I'm selecting to count things in column E where, so there's a, a condition associated with this, E contains the content of cell B1. Now there's a bit of a weird thing here, how you reference um, cells within query arguments. So B1 is where I've chosen the subject. Um, so you've got a single quote, double quotes, and symbol B1, which is the cell, and double quotes, single quotes, and that's how you reference something within a, a sheet. And, so that's not the only condition, it contains, so it's got to contain the subject name, and it's also got to contain the year group. So, and E contains cell E16, which is year 12, in this particular case, I think. So, that should do it, really. So, if I zoom out of that, that allows me to choose any subject that I want. I don't know, PE. And you'll see how many homeworks. Now, bear in mind, this has only been used live with all staff for days. You're not going to get that many on here. Um, a bit art. Quite a lot of art homeworks being set. And it's been focused on key stage 3, so 7, 8, 9. So they might not have used it at all with 12 and 13 yet. Yeah. Um, I put in static functions here for English maths and science just so they'll always be visible. I can be bothered to put in the whole thing for all of the subjects. But that just gives you an idea of how you can take a big wadge of data and ask a question of that data and return a value. There's other things that you can do as well. There's loads of things you can do, and you can make it very complicated and do very sophisticated things. Click on the Student Data tab. Now, I'm not going to show you this live on YouTube or anything because it will bring up real student names if I do. I've got a student name here, and over here I've got another query function. Actually, I've got it over there. So there's a test user who hasn't got any homework. But this function here and I'll zoom in on it equals query student A1 through to C11800 now the significance of that whoops let me get out of there. the significance of the 11800 is that I've got a list of all the students and all the different classes they take. So 11,800 might seem like a lot. We've got a thousand students on average they might take 10 different classes. So that's where the 11,800 comes from. And it's the same list that I use to um, populate a Power Teacher dashboard. So it actually is a, it comes from another import range function from the spreadsheet that I use to update a Power Dashboard, a Teacher Dashboard. So, so this sheet relies on other sheets which I already had the data from so I've not created any data I've just pulled it from other places so this automatically updates so anyways it looks in a list of students okay and I've got it here oops and I want to select column A get rid of that really helpful thing it does actually try and help you and tell you what to do um, Select column A. Now column A has the names of the students in. Comma, so I'm just selecting A. I want the name of the student. And then comma, I want C where A contains F1. Okay, so I only want the homeworks which have been set to that particular student. So if I put, I say, Anybody who's a private demonstration of this, they can do. But if I put a student's name in there, and I will do this, but I won't scroll across to the names, um, I'll just put in a generic name. What should we have? Um, let's have Fred. I think it might be a Fred. And if I go across here now, you'll see that this has returned homeworks um, which have been set to. Now there's lots of people with that first name in the school, um, so if you typed in more than just Fred, so Fred and then some surname, 
then it would populate with just that particular student. So I've created a less complicated version of the sheet with only one tab with lots of hidden stuff. So a member of staff, in theory, can just type in a student's name and find out what the last set piece of homework was in all the subjects they teach. But this is all populated really just from one function, pulling data off a couple of other spreadsheets, which I already had. So anyways, it kind of just makes the whole thing about finding out what homework a particular person has had um, and keeping us a record of that and being able to say, oh, engage with students and say as a form tutor, perhaps you've got this piece of homework, that piece of homework, and it's due then. And you actually being able to know that and look it up pretty much instantly, I think is potentially quite a useful um, thing. And certainly from a management point of view, being able to look at how much homework has been set to a particular class or subject or whatever and you could write a query function that would pull off whatever combination of data you particularly wanted to. So have a play with the query function if you haven't done it, done so so far. It, it is quite cool and um, it sort of gives you that full WYSI database experience. Um, the actual tasks are pulled off um, via the standard VLOOKUP thing and the if error is just if they haven't been set any homework in that particular class ever then it returns the value non set so that's just a little quick look at an sort of an, an example of what one could do with the query function how you can make it link lots of things together in conjunction with the import range function um, if you want to know more about that um, or talk about how to use those functions or the homework site or how all these things link together do feel free to um, get in touch so thank you for uh, watching